Hey everybody, it's Jackie with the Fancy Front Door. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to use spray foam, gaps and cracks, uh, this great stuff that we use uh, in some of our craft projects. I know there's a lot of mystery behind this, a lot of uh, scary stories, but let me show you exactly how I use it to kind of debunk and demystify, and I'll also go over exactly what not to do. So first things first, you'll notice I'm inside. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to be outside on a windy day um, or where things could get tumped over or moved. Uh, I had a friend try this on a, a porch, a patio, a big gust of wind flew in and her pillows got in it and everything was destroyed. When it touches things when it's wet, friends, it will destroy it. So I like a good controlled environment. I always put down, as you can tell, this big uh, cardboard piece of uh, box I put down as a good barrier between any surface that I love. Uh, I'm also not wearing any sleeves today. I don't want to drag a sleeve through what I'm uh, doing on accident as well. Uh, probably should have put my hair up too, but here we go. I give it a good shake and let's get started. Now, a little bit goes a long way because remember it grows. Today, I'm gonna kind of give you a sneak peek of the summer projects we're working on as well. I'm going to just start by filling this little canister and I'm not going to fill it all the way up because remember it grows. Um, it expands at least two times its size and look how this is kind of wider on the bottom and it graduates up. So I'm only going to fill this about three quarters of the way high and I can expect it to probably go on up to the top. Okay, so let's get started. I've given it a good shake. I've got that straw all the way down in there. I'm going to apply some light pressure. I'm going around in a circular motion to fill the outside and the inside. I'm going to show you in a, um, a smaller canister here in a moment. All right, I've got this filled to about here, knowing that it's going to grow up to the rest of the top. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I did. These are little pots that I'm going to use uh, to decorate my daughter's playhouse with her. So here's what I did to begin with. I put a little circle around the bottom. <laughs> it goes fast and then I kind of just go around the outside inside outside and there we go and I can expect that to grow okay and so I'm going to do the same and showing y'all what to do I kind of filled it more than I wanted to I'm not going to tap this down and fill it more though I'm not going to do it leave it light and airy, airy so that there's um it, it can grow into the little air bubbles that are in there so there we go and that is done now this is one that I filled not enough of so I'm just going to kind of top this little guy off and, and he's going to grow to where I want him there we go now another thing I like to do is put down wax paper or parchment paper and in that case I would take um baskets like this and I would put a little dollop in the middle and let them grow like this or over here wherever I wanted uh, to come back and eventually add my picks and sprays um, and things to that so that is definitely an option another thing that I like to do is if I've got leftover in that can I'm going to take that wax paper and I'm going to make just patties just like this uh, of all sizes so that I can go back in the future and maybe just glue this here or glue this in the middle or use it um, in something uh, like a tiered tray where I just need a little um, piece of something to stick all my stuff in. Got it? These come in handy all year long. So don't throw away your gaps and cracks if you have some left. Another thing to know about gaps and cracks is you guys, it is an insanely amazing adhesive. Uh, anybody who's got this stuff stuck on them at any time can definitely testify to that. That said, I love this pineapple and it's a little difficult to get into a wreath just because it's a weird wonky shape and size. Um, so I have done this before and I'm gonna do it again. I'm going to take this, set it right down here at the bottom. I know that I've got that good and even and I'm going to put a strip of gaps and cracks that's gonna grow and uh, seal the two of these together. Let me do it to this size so you can kind of see what I'm doing, but also I can see what I'm doing. So I've got it butted directly up against 
the bottom here. So they're touching, there's no gap between them. And I am going to go ahead, let me look at this one more time because once it's done, it's done. Make sure that's the middle. Like I said, one once it's done, it's done. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a good dollop. I spray foam right down here. This is gonna grow into the pineapple and into the um, uh, grapevine. And you guys, like I said, it makes an incredible adhesive. So here we go. A little bit more. So they are stuck together. They have become one. I just put a little bit more to each side. Y'all know a little bit goes a long way. A little bit. A little dabble do ya. All right. And then I'm done with this. I'm going to move it to the side and I'm not going to touch it. In fact, I'm not going to touch any of this for, this is going to spill over. I'm not going to touch any of this for over 24 hours. You can put your ear up to it. And like Rice Krispies, if you hear that snap, crackle, pop, friend, it's not done. You can also take a, a barbecue skewer and stab it down into the middle, walk away, come back in about an hour. And if it's not dry, friends, it'll grow up through that little poke. I'm gonna take the rest of my can and fill this up. This is gonna be a really cool planter on my porch. I cannot wait to do this tutorial with you guys. It's shrinking down in there. Okay, and that's all that's left. And what's so funny is it shrank down in there and it's still to about here. Okay, sorry. Let me tilt this over and show it to you. Check it out. So as you can see, it's to about, to about here. So when this grows, it's probably gonna make a nice little bubble here on top, okay? All right, that is how I use my gaps and cracks. Join me as uh, I make these projects during this summer. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to me on my VIP text line, 832-261-9705. If you've got questions about anything you saw today, join me on Monday nights at 8.30 Central. Uh, standard time as I do a Make Something Monday, and we're going to be delving into these projects uh, all throughout the summer. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Good luck with your gaps and cracks.